Welcome to another Ride Along with Goggles. And today we're in Callister, Oklahoma, and we're heading up to Texoma, Oklahoma, which is kind of cool because this is uh, new on the map. And uh, maybe by the time you're watching this or very shortly thereafter, this latest map update is going to be released by Recon. And man, there's a lot on it. It's pretty good. I've, I've barely scratched the surface in the last few videos. But we're at the um, stockyard here. And this has been out for a while, I believe, and my first visit to it, of all things. But we're going to head up here. We're not going to take the long way around or anything. We're just going to go straight to Oklahoma City, Clinton, Woodward, to Guymon, and out on uh, K&D Cattle, which is uh, uh, was the Bushnell site. So it's been uh, updated by Recon and Driver 47. That should be pretty good, but uh, it's a fairly long one, but I'm counting on it being fast highways. And we got the, um, I'll talk about the skin and stuff on the way, and the skin for the, uh, the trailer in particular. We got the K100 from Overfloater here. We got Zmod C16 in it. Uh, Bart's Silver Star. And uh, this is one skin of four that I've put in this pack. And it's going to be out real soon. I'll have it out this weekend. But there's a few little things to change like on the back of this one I got to move that uh, lost Arroyo in the middle up a little bit uh, let's stop turning here and I've got um, on the uh, K&D cattle company I've got to adjust the lettering or do something on the back that's maybe a little different than what's there but not a lot uh, so there's Hell Creek Ranch Powder River Lost Arroyo and K and D cattle, all on the same. Right out of here. Imagine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're turning right. Oh, there's that glare in the windows. It's them down. So that was quite something, the stock here. Gee, we didn't even look around there. Let's see if we can look back at it. Turn right. Yeah, that's did a really nice job. Like that's what the stock here there looks like in that building. Uh yeah, it's pretty nice. So recon made that, so looks good. Still got a sign to put up and that right in the middle top of the picture. It looks like a fence up there in the top of the building. Apparently the signs a work in progress. Uh oh, we don't want to go over 80. Let the crew 
Cruise. Leave it at 75. I, as I keep saying, I don't want to get in trouble with my truck books. Trucks book. Yeah, I keep saying that wrong to you. Anyway, I hope you guys have got a good weekend lined up. And, uh, oh, hey, big news. I uh, fixed the caddy today. So it went pretty good. Um, I had to, uh, as I mentioned previously, uh, I didn't know I have a 62 Cadillac, but um, broke a, a lower, Cadillac calls it a tie strut or strut tie or whatever, but there's these two rods that go from the front of the frame to the lower control arm, and they're made of some high quality steel, pretty tough stuff. Imagine they're forged, and uh, they bolt to the lower control arm. It's funny the uh, the link for the uh, sway bar link at each end goes through the middle of it, uh, where it's forged out and bolts by two bolts to the railing arm or control lower control arm. Through the middle of that, between the two bolts, is where the, uh, the sway bar link goes. Kind of interesting, so I had to drop those too, but it wasn't too bad a job. Exit right ahead. Took me about, I don't know, 45 minutes aside. But uh, the old one was broken. You could see it had been fatigued or cracked for a long time. By the, you know, the fresh break was like half the thickness of the material. They had a crack from the top and the bottom that went about a, th oh boy, well, a quarter of the way up and a quarter of the way down, and there was no more than that, maybe. Anyway, long story short, the old girl's back on the road, and it sure feels good. And now the reason I'm mentioning that is the weekend. <laughs> Sorry, I got a, a my main car club. We have uh, our toy run this Sunday. It's a toy run, uh, poker run, like both for the uh, Salvation Army Christmas kids. It's Christmas thing. It's our we do it annually. We're doing it a long time. Anyway, so yeah, I'll be able to, I'm going to be manning one of the checkpoints, so I'll be able to have my car out there representing. Good. So that's what I'm doing on Sunday, so. But uh, yeah, this uh, ATS expansion map, boy, all of the stuff in it, I can't even, I read the uh, change notes. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking to Recon on the Discord, and uh, he's, uh, as I'm reading the change notes that he gave me on this latest update, and uh, it's, uh, there's a lot more going on than in these notes, because he's going, oh, right. he's rewriting the notes as we were talking, pretty funny, so anything that I could have remembered, it told you, just double it. There's lots coming. Yeah, it's gonna be good. Look at that dude over there, going to half a mile an hour. Jeez, that's just speed. city up there. Keep left. How far left? I guess both of these lanes are good.
one lane or once we get over there. Oh, we can't turn right there. Yeah, boy. Yeah, so call them all Sundays coming up. I'm gonna try and do find a flat deck load out of uh you know, one thing I'd like to do is deliver that load of trees to a uh, Walden's landscaping business. That would be kind of cool. I don't know how far left. I'm gonna... No, not that far left. So, um, yeah, the uh, that would be a good load to do. Kind of fits with what uh, Matt and Paul the Mall does with his uh, dealing with a lot of landscaping uh, outfits. I don't know if I've ever seen him haul trees, but he probably has. Seems to handle a lot of precast concrete and quarry stuff. really look forward to getting in Dom's 379 and pulling that B-double. Oh yeah, so the skin pack here, I mentioned it's got, uh, I think I did, yeah, the four skins in it. It's almost done. I'm probably going to just put it up on my Google Drive in Truckee because it won't upload to Steam because in the skin like I do the skin on uh, Mod Studio 2 and packaged in with the skin is a uh, the uh, Bart trailer business uh, you know the mud flaps and the light boxes and all that sort of stuff is I put all of that in after the skin has gone through Mod Studio 2 and Steam complains about that because they see it as something weird, something broken. It's not. It works fine. It's just not what they're expecting to see. So, seems to be a problem. I don't know how to get around. So, with the uh, this skin on the Hell Creek version, I just put it on Truckee. But uh, I think what I'll do is I'm going to... Uh, Put it on uh, my Discord, or my Google Drive. A link on the Discord to my Google Drive. There you go. And uh, you'll be able to get it there. Like I say, four trailers. And... Uh, I only have one skin out there for uh, the K&D Cattle Company. Uh, Pissers 389, I believe. But there's more coming. After 100 yards, turn right. Powder River so far is only on the FLX 359. Turn right. So that uh, Powder River one, I've got uh, a skin working, a good skin for the uh, Pisser 389 63 inch. Uh, but I want to do it for more cabs, so that stuff's all coming. But there's a ton of Lost Arroyo skins out there, like this one I'm running right now. This is my personalized version, but it's up on Steam. Skin. The K100, it's out there for the... Probably the... Uh, for modding needle nose for the SCS. Slash Roland 389. Uh, quite a few. No shortage of trucks. Lost Arroyo. And um, the Hell Creek skin is out there for quite a few vehicles as well. I believe we're going to have to hang a left up here somewhere. Seminole. 
Yeah, that, uh, that game, W900, is a pretty good looking truck. As far as uh, the game trucks go. E680 across the way. I think I have three different trucks pulling Montana Express the T680, W900, and 89. Yeah, Montana Express. Uh, <laughs> we did, uh, I think I mentioned, we found out what happened with the, uh, or did we? Yeah, I think we did. Where we kind of put a Montana Express skin in the game to be a static vehicle at uh, one of the yards. And then it ended up going all over the place. So he's put in, I don't have it in this version of the game, he just put the AI traffic Montana Express skin like that one back there in as his static skin which we're gonna also see in traffic so when you see a Montana Express trailer being pulled by a non Montana Express painted truck that's recons thousand pounds of yearlings. Yearlings takes a little while uh, to get up to speed. As it should. <laughs> I guess that's quite a bit of weight. A little yard over here. Not all about. Huh. Oh. Hens. Well, I'll be horn swoggled. Nasty turn. He should put a. Uh, turn left. He's a traffic light. So straight ahead is the uh, R&M pipeline. That's a heck of a right-hand turn right there. Have to make sure nobody's coming the other way if you were. Taking it with a semi. Oh, we're gonna have to go here. speed transmission setup and maybe oh shoot bring it over there maybe a little video on uh, some shifting driving kind of thing so that flatbed brothers Amarillo Texas I sure wish they had a 389 uh, with a 63 inch on it. As AI traffic. I gotta figure out how to get in that left lane. 
I guess I'll have to just mosey along here a little bit. I keep going too quick. Watch that light up ahead. Oh, sh rats. That wasn't helpful. If everybody lines up behind me, that'd be pretty good. So yeah, I'm not a hundred percent sold on the back of this thing. Um, Lost Oil, Laredo, Texas. I don't know. What do you guys think? If uh, is that a keeper, or should I do something different here? Maybe put the uh, lariat on the back and the steer skull, or it won't come out very big because the horns are so wide. distance we haven't seen a train in this uh, drive yet oh shoot that's not two turning lanes service location here the trucks all go in around there drive around the back of the building and come up to the to the pumps on the right side I remember to get a photo here oh, somebody was kind enough to comment when I was in the trailer the other day on <laughs> This little bit up here. Oh, there's cattle up there. I guess they're. After 50 yards, go straight. Oh, sorry. That that's the doghouse up there in that top right. Go straight. I've got a load of yearlings. Yeah, so there's some up there. I'll have to pay attention to that and see if they throw cattle up there too. Now do we have, nope, don't have that going. 
west and we're going west. If I go west from Calgary, it's mountains. If I go east, it looks like this. But I like it. I like driving on the prairie. Go straight. Watch your dog run away for two days. fortunate to live right in the dividing line between the two. Get the best of both worlds. Don't have to stuck in one or the other. It's very fortunate and thankful for it. That's a cool little town here, eh? A whistle stop right through there. Awesome. But hit 80 there. options are like if you don't have a 18 speed shift knob what can you do about it what can you cobble together a switch on your steering wheel or a splitter and uh, you know, what, what can you do what, what are the options so try and figure something out I don't know what can be done there uh, but I do know you have the option of just using your stick as a sequential shifter like you could have it set up to pull it back to shift down and push forward to go up. The only thing I find with the, uh, is when I first got this game, I was doing that, using it as a sequential because I didn't have a 18 speed shift knob. After 50 yards, turn left. And I found, boy, you're really busy. It's, with an 18 speed, it's, crazy because you'll notice what I'm or I don't know if you do notice you could probably see it if you're looking at the little screen on the on the top left of the windshield what gear I'm in but I'm not uh, going through all the gears that's for sure yeah every now and then depends what we're doing we might start it like you know it was it seventh gear like and uh, and then skip a few, but you know, we, we start off at one low, which is third gear pretty much all the time. That's third, fifth, seventh, ninth, eleven, and now I'll start using the splitter. Twelve. So, now that was not a whole lot 
of movement there, but if you're doing the sequential, it's like, you know, 13 times you're going to be moving that stick. So, get yourself some tendonitis in your elbow. Oh darn, the other thing, remember I was talking about that uh, pot for painting the tankers? And it didn't seem to help? Well, it turns out it does work. And I think you have to put the, was it the pot above the skin? Something like that. Polly did it, he did a skin for that t uh, tanker. And so it looks like I'm going to be able to do all those skins, or a bunch of them, so... Uh, that's something else i got to get after tanker skins. I'm kind of looking forward to doing that. Like, you know, we'll do old school and uh, I'll have mulligans. I'll burn a heavy hull, maybe. Can't have too far to go, 16 miles. Looks like it's right up ahead. Might be on the right. I got time to go around this guy. I think we'll just back. Oh, not gonna ease in there. Keep coming. And another one. Should have went for it. Yeah, we're gonna jam ourselves in here. So I'm uh, looking forward to seeing this stockyard. Oh, here we are. Keep right. After 50 yards, turn right. Oh. setting up all the horns again. I don't know what's with that. Oh, there's our, our hunting on the ground. Oh, we don't need to do it, Lori. We're already there. I'm slim across the road. Oh, I keep saying slim. I'm always thinking of Slim Pickens, <laughs> the cowboy actor. And we got a friend named Slim in the Discord. And that's not Slim. Slim's about half again taller than that guy. <laughs> uh, let's all the horns going. What the heck? That is kind of weird. I will do. Let's go do -si do right around this pole here. Keep right. Why not? After 50 yards, turn right. You don't got the longest truck in the world? I got this guy's horn going. Look at that little stockyard there, eh? Cool. Bobcat here for cleaning up. This just helps us get the back end of the trailer over. You know I'm always commenting on the back end of the trailer. It's kind of what you're driving. You're in the front and everything's real easy up here, but you got to make the back end work. You got to be thinking about it all the time. I notice the uh, shoots all seem to be offset a bit. Like if you go right in on the uh, suggest, oops, darn. A wasted uh, precious moment there looking to the left. Now we're gonna have to cut it back across a little bit because I was gonna say, you don't wanna, oh this, yeah, see this one's not lined up either. We're gonna be well off the box to get over there. Oh no, I messed it up totally. I am now, see I'm too far to the our left as we're looking at it. But when we do get lined up here, <laughs> you'll see that we're more left of the, see that parking box. 
And we're probably going to want to be right about there. And where is it? Yeah, see the gate's over there. It's out of sight already. Ew. That's kind of annoying. We missed it. Oh well. They're yearlings, they're so not very wide, but maybe we should just adjust it a little bit. I don't know if that's a, a function of how these triggers get put down, or are they independent of each other? Don't know. Well, that's going to be okay, they can get out of there. Okay. Well, that's kind of fun and nice uh, having a uh, you know load makes sense not delivering them to Walmart <laughs> I've commented before you may have missed it I don't know I always thought it's funny when you got a a load of buffalo or bison and you're dropping them off at a Walmart <laughs> you just imagine the mess inside there oh my god all the medics yeah Anyway, yeah, this is a blast from the past. This is an old skin. Uh, did this one quite a while ago? But this has got uh, my personal skin on it. But uh, there's one up on Steam, same thing, but it's 476. And I'll have this trailer pack out tomorrow. I just need to adjust a few things, and uh, it'll be good to go. And, um, yeah, four trailers. Oh, and, yeah, you can do the sides, I think. I didn't mention it. You've got five options, so you've got used, which will look kind of like, you know, the, if you look at a panel there at the front lower, that's uh, that's my texture on there, but the used one doesn't look a lot different than that. The bottom, just behind the, the wheels by the mud flap, the used don't look like that. Then you have polished, or you have uh, plain aluminum, which is kind of dull aluminum. Then you have polished, then you have chrome and this so you got uh, lots of choices five choices for your what you put on the side of the trailer and then you got um your paint whatever you're going to put on your truck put it on the trailer if you want and uh yeah or you don't have to paint that either you can you know before you didn't have a choice with the hell creek skin that i did with the Stay inside, so you were stuck with uh, the red that I put on it, but that's optional now. You can paint the whole darn thing, uh, or you can, I'm not sorry, you can make the whole thing chrome or aluminum, mixture of all of those things. So it's kind of handy. So yeah, we'll get that out for you, and um, all the very best. Take care. We'll catch you on Call Them All Sunday. Take care, and bye for now.